Hello, everyone. It is a new year, which means it is time for some new videos updating you on the local market. I hope you noticed the uh, updated graphic in the beginning here. And um, also want you to know this is going to be just a continuation of my a uh, weekly market update that gives you uh, up-to-date information on our local market. Uh, we'll be putting out a year-end one here soon, either by the end of this week or first of next week. We've got some schedules to work out to make that happen, but it is coming. Um, and what is the story of the last few weeks? Well, if you haven't recovered from the holidays, it definitely seems like buyers have recovered. Um, we start every year during December, we start seeing everything in the market start to go down. Well, January has started to pick back up again. If you want to know what I'm talking about, well, let's take a look. Shouldn't be a surprise that the number of new listings entering the market started to tank during December. Nobody wants to put their market on or their house on the market during the holidays unless they absolutely have to. So no surprise that went down, but it's already started to pick up um, almost immediately as we moved into January. That caused our number of homes on the market or active listing count to slightly dip towards the end of December, which is no surprise with fewer new listings coming onto the market. But let's take a look at the pricing. So that deceleration, the number of new listings coming on the market, um, also caused a slight deceleration in the um, list, the median list price. So we can see it started back in November, the list price for homes coming on the market started doing just a slight, slight downward trend. I pretty much expect, expect that to pick back up um, towards the end of January, definitely when we hit the spring market, because um, closed prices, as you'll see later, have not slowed down at all. As I mentioned in, in the intro, pending contracts or homes that have gone under contract has already started to pick back up um, right here in the first part of January. So we'll see um, how that continues to move, but um, there's even been a little bit of um, competition. I'll say uh, just anecdotally, um, I actually got a house under contract, put an offer in on a house um, on New Year's Day, and we actually beat out a, another buyer and sorry to say but I'm, i think from what i heard we actually beat out the new uh, etsu football coach so sorry about that but not sorry for my clients so right along with everything else the number of closings no surprise also slowed down towards the end of the year not only do people not want to put their homes on the market during the holidays most people don't want to be looking for a home and moving during the holidays so no surprise there the number of closing has dipped but with the increase in contracts, one uh, with increase in contracts, I expect that number to pick back up here in the next few weeks. But again, as I mentioned in my intro, sales prices are holding steady, both the average and the median. Now the average has been coming down, but it's really just been bringing the average and the median closer together, um, which just gives us a better picture of the market than when they're really far apart. Um, but as you can see, prices have held steady, still up plenty um, from this time last year. Now, if we look at the um, uh, price reductions, what you'll see there is that buyers that bought in December got some pretty significant savings. Almost half of the homes sold in December sold below their list price, which brought down that list price to sales price ratio to 95%. Um, so that's a, that's a pretty good savings for those that um, were able to purchase a home in December. As far as the share of the market that is um, currently listed below its original list price, that remains unchanged at right about half. Um, but is that saving something that we're going to see continue into the to the new year? Um, I, I hesitate to say probably. Um, I think it's more of just a timing thing that worked out really good uh, for buyers that were that were out looking for homes. So as you can see, um, a little bit of the same, a little bit of different. Buyers have definitely recovered from the holidays, as I mentioned, and are back out um, looking for that next home, which uh, could mean um, that they are also working in a lower interest rate environment as far as mortgages are concerned. And that could mean an increase in competition here in the beginning of the year. Um, I said could, because it's only been a couple weeks, so we'll have to wait and see. But um, 
it's already seen to be uh, picking up rather quickly. So we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. Again, keep an eye out for the, the year end video. Um, as soon as we get schedules lined up, um, we'll get that recorded and put out there for your information so that you can get an idea of what the whole journey of 2023 um, looked like. It was definitely different from the previous um, couple of years. And also, if you find these videos helpful, I would really appreciate this year if you would help me grow the amount of people that watch these videos by both subscribing to my YouTube channel um, and sharing the videos. You can also like my Facebook page and um, comment and share on the videos there. And please do comment. I like getting feedback to know what's helpful, what's not helpful. Um, if you like the video, if you didn't like the video, um, if you like background music or don't like background music. Um, so <clears throat> just give me, give me some feedback, let me know. Uh, what works better for you because I want to make sure that these videos are relevant to you that they not just give you the local uh, market information but also um, are relevant for you and also relevant for those that are looking for homes currently um, or are looking to sell. Um, would love to, to sit down with anybody that is looking to purchase or buy a home um, as we start out the new year and see how I can best help them do that. Uh, well, it's good to be back. Welcome to 2024. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week.